What's going on guys? Tanner Pfeiffer here with Pfeiffer Football. This is going to be a bit of a stretch. All right. Don't be surprised when you hear this. Don't be like, ah, yeah, the thumbnail's going to be a bit of a clickbait. All right. But that's kind of the point. I do want to bring this to your attention. We all know the situation going on with Washington commanders and star wide receiver. It's safe to say star wide receiver, Terry McLaurin at this point. Scary Terry is what they call him. Um, you probably, if you watch Pat McAfee at all, you probably heard it on the show this morning. He is, he liked a tweet from Reggie Wayne um, saying that he is the best coach ever, uh, best wide receivers coach ever. And we all know that Terry McLaurin has not reported to mandatory training camp for the Washington Commanders. Mandatory, guys. You got to remember, this is mandatory. This means you're required to show up. If you don't show up, you're going to get a fine. This fine is huge. I mean, it starts at thousands per day, and I think it just goes up per day. So you could be, you know, I don't know the numbers. Let's say $5,000 one day, $10,000 the next, $13. I mean, that just stacks up. In one week, you could owe 100 grand. Who knows? I don't know the numbers, but you could be fined for not showing up to mandatory minicamp. Scary Terry McLaurin is wanting an extension. He has seen guys like Christian Kirk, who is not even on his level, okay? I like Christian Kirk. I think he's a great wide receiver. I always love to pick him up in fantasy football, even before his breakout year last year, breakout year. But he signed, what, a four-year, 70-something million dollar contract with the Jaguars. It may have been more than that. Um, it, it's just crazy. A lot of crazy contracts. Cooper Cup signed an extension. Amari Cooper, I believe, with the Browns. Um, there's other wide receivers who have signed massive extensions. Uh, Devontae Adams signed, I think, a four- or five-year with the Raiders when he was traded. The, the wide receiver market has been reset after this This. Uh, this last off season, this current off season, okay? It, the wide receiver market is robust. It has been nuts. It really has been a uh, off season for the record books. But the thing is, Terry McLaurin's going to want to be paid up there close to what these guys are making. That's what is going on. I had an Instagram post the other day saying that Terry McLaurin and the Washington Commanders are not really close to a deal. Now there was a report saying that they have made progress but they're still far apart. Now how do you make progress and still be far apart on a deal? They must have been this far apart on a deal and they've made progress which brought them to here. They're still this far apart which be a, would be a lot. Um, Terry McLaurin could be so frustrated with this contract situation this holdout it is technically a holdout at this point, could lead into the season. Now, obviously, they're going to want to pay him. He's heading into the final year of his rookie contract. But I want you guys to tell me what you think about this because he could request a trade. He could play out or sit out his final year of the contract. Yeah, he may take fines, but he may be okay with that. He could move on to the Indianapolis Colts, a team that would love to have a guy like Terry McLaurin alongside Michael Pittman and T.Y. Hilton, I think. He's still a free agent if he does come back, especially after this season to next season. I don't know. But if T.Y. Hilton does retire, they're going to want a guy like Terry McLaurin to go alongside Michael Pittman Jr. Um, that would just be a deadly duo in Indy. And he has liked a tweet, and I'm throwing up the screenshot of that tweet. And uh, Pat McAfee talked about it this morning. I know it's a bit of a stretch, but I want you guys to tell me if you would like to see Terry McLaurin in Indianapolis. This could be real after this 2022 season, 2022 through 2023 season, basically. Could we see Terry McLaurin as a free agent or is he going to get an extension done with the Washington Commanders? Does he even want to play for the Washington Commanders? He has averaged like over a thousand yards per season in his career with eight different starting quarterbacks. I think that was a stat by Field Yates. He posted it on Twitter. I haven't looked at it since yesterday, but I think there's been eight different starting quarterbacks in Terry McLaurin's career so far. And that's only three freaking years, I believe. 2019, 2020, 2021. Wow. So you guys tell me your thoughts about Terry McLaurin. Does he deserve to be paid by Washington? Or if you were Terry McLaurin, would you want to walk away from Washington, go to a team like 
the Indianapolis Colts who have Matt Ryan and there's been great reports about Matt Ryan and the stuff he's doing in training camp. So the Colts could be a very pass heavy team this year. They could be a threat for the AFC. I want you guys to tell me your thoughts on this situation down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the Discord. The link is in the description below. See you guys.